Today, we're gonna to talk about diagnosing mass airflow or MAF sensor issues. Now we know that every vehicle application is a little different and diagnosing problems can vary depending on the make and model. However, the step-by-step -step guide we're about to cover is a great starting point for almost all vehicles. Following these steps can help you accurately diagnose potential MAF sensor related problems so that you can avoid unnecessary replacements, additional vehicle downtime, and unneeded headaches. So let's get right to it. Step one, check for related trouble codes. The first step in diagnosing any sensor issue is to start with a proper scan of your vehicle's onboard diagnostic system. Using an OBD2 scanner, check for any trouble codes. If you see any MAF related codes like P0101, P0102 or P0103, it suggests a potential problem with the MAF sensor. However, do not stop there. Look for any additional codes that could indicate other underlying issues contributing to the problem. Step two, inspect the MAF sensor and wiring. Next, let's perform a visual inspection of the MAF sensor and its wiring harness. You wanna look for any obvious signs of damage, such as cracks, corrosion, or frayed wires. Also check for any dirt, oil, or contamination on the sensor element itself. These can all lead to inaccurate readings and trigger the check engine light. Step three, check the air filter and air intake system. Moving on to the air intake system, it's important to inspect the air filter for any signs of blockage. A dirty or clogged air filter can restrict airflow, leading to a false reading from the MAF sensor. Make sure the air intake path before the sensor is also clear of any debris, dirt, or even animals that might have gotten in there. This is a simple check that can save you from misdiagnosing a perfectly good sensor. Step four, test the MAF sensor with a multimeter. For a more precise check, use a digital multimeter to test the MAF sensor's output voltage or frequency. Ensure the ground wire has proper ground, zero volts. Measure the signal wire voltage with the engine idling and at higher RPMs. Typically, the signal voltage should be between 0.5 volts to 5 volts, depending on the engine speed and load. Compare your readings to the manufacturer's specifications. This will help you determine whether the sensor is operating within normal range or if it's malfunctioning. Step five, perform a live data scan. Next, use an advanced scan tool to perform a live data scan. Watch the MAF sensor readings in real time while the engine is running. A typical reading for a properly functioning sensor at idle should be around two to seven grams per second for most vehicles. You should see a smooth and consistent increase in the airflow readings as the engine RPMs rise. If you notice erratic or out of range readings, it could indicate a faulty sensor. Step six, check for technical service bulletins or TSBs. Before diving deeper, it's a good idea to check for any technical service bulletins or TSBs related to the MAF sensor on the specific vehicle you're working on. Manufacturers sometimes release TSBs to address known issues or to provide updated procedures. Checking for these can give you valuable information that could save you time and point you directly to the problem. Step seven, look for vacuum leaks. Vacuum leaks are another common culprit behind MAF sensor codes. Unmetered air entering the system can cause an incorrect airflow reading. Carefully check the intake manifold, throttle body, and connected hoses for any leaks. A smoke machine can be particularly effective here as it helps identify the smallest leaks. Step eight, check for exhaust or catalytic converter issues. Don't overlook the exhaust system when diagnosing MAF sensor issues. Problems like a clogged catalytic converter or faulty oxygen sensors can lead to incorrect air fuel mixture calculations and set off the MAF related trouble codes. Make sure to inspect and test these components as well. Step nine, test the fuel system. Also consider the fuel system as a possible source of the problem. Low fuel pressure or malfunctioning fuel injectors can cause running conditions that mimic a faulty MAF sensor. Perform a fuel pressure test and check the injectors to rule out these issues. Step 10, check the engine control module. Finally, if all other tests check out, the engine control module or ECM could be at fault. 
Sometimes a software glitch or failure in the ECM can affect how the MAF sensor signals are processed. Reflashing the ECM with the latest software or replacing it may be necessary, but consider this a last resort. Step 11, follow manufacturer relearn procedures. If you determine that the MAF sensor is indeed the culprit and needs replacement, it's crucial to follow any manufacturer specific relearn procedures after installing the new sensor. This process allows the ECM to properly recalibrate and learn the new MAF sensor parameters, ensure optimal performance, and prevent future issues. Skipping this step could lead to persistent check engine lights or drivability issues. Clean the MAF sensors, a word of caution. While there are products available on the market for cleaning MAF sensors, Walker Products does not recommend this practice. The reason? MAF sensors are highly delicate and improper cleaning can easily damage the sensor element, leading to even more problems. If you suspect that the sensor is dirty or contaminated, it's better to replace it than risk further damage. And there you have it, a thorough checklist for properly diagnosing MAF sensor issues. By following these steps, you can avoid the common pitfalls, reduce unnecessary replacements, and ensure that the vehicle is running smoothly. Thanks for joining us today.